What's up guys? Uh, had a little bit of a bend last night. <laughs> yeah. Step into my office. So uh, you're heading to the gym to beat your chest like King Kong with angina. But you have no idea what exercises you're gonna do. Okay, let me be real with you for a second. Who the fuck creates workout routines anymore? I mean, give it a rest, Jim Stepani. What did you just discover? Bodybuilding.com workout database? I got it. Magic Mike, clip my nuts on that one. If you're a true bro, your idea of creating a workout routine involves stepping in the gym and improv in a jam sesh. Just like uh, your idea of romance involves stopping by a girl's place, throwing on some seal, and serving her up a fucking jam sandwich. What's up, dog? So when it comes to freestyling a workout, you're gonna choose exercises based on two factors. Beep. Effectiveness and alphaness. Effective exercises are exercises that work that you should be doing. Alpha exercises are exercises that work that you better be fucking doing. Here are the best chest exercises for looking alpha. Incline dumbbell press. What makes incline dumbbell alpha is that it's supposed to be harder than flat dumbbell. But you're a freak of nature. So for some inconceivable reason, you're actually stronger on incline dumbbell. So you choose to do incline because you're stronger on incline. And you're stronger on incline because you never do flat. Because you always do incline. Because you're stronger on incline, obviously. Here's where it gets super alpha. People don't know that you're stronger on incline. So when they see you repping out 80s, they're thinking that's hundreds on flat. And just like that, you're benching hundreds with 80 pound dumbbells. One direction. Uh, 80s for the ladies. 85s for the guys. He's the hundreds. Uh, cable flies. This exercise is all show. Let me break it down for you. You are literally the center of attention. You are claiming both sides of one of the most versatile and popular pieces of gym equipment. You can do a ton of different exercises with the cables, yet you're using both for one. I just set up hotels on boardwalk and park place. Ah, get out of a neighborhood, dog. When you prepare for cable flies, you look like you're celebrating a win on stage. You look like Jesus on the cross, except more small. Bring in the cables, like you're grabbing a couple of thoughts for a brainstorm, and bring them to the Thunderdome. Striations. I don't care if your winner bulk follows the Game of Thrones calendar, or if the last time you saw a cut was Pee Wee football. When you do cable flies, you will see chest striations. Let me break it down. Chest striations are the male equivalent of a girl's bicycle spokes while you're hitting a doggy. This is sexual as fuck, and people will be miring. Weighted dips. It doesn't get much more alpha than this. You are adding weight to your body by your chain hanging from your dick to do an exercise that people can't do with the weight hanging from their bones. Throw your chain on, ascend the ladder, and dip your 90 pound nutsack into Earth's mouth. Django chain. And lastly, the most alpha of all exercises, the bench. Having to explain why bench is alpha is like having to explain why masturbating feels good. A, you're creepy for asking. And B, if you have to ask, you've never done it. A couple of these. There's a reason how much can you bench has just edged out what's your name for the most popular question in the world. It's because no one gives a shit what your name is unless it starts with 315 and ends with 410, which makes you first in the alphabet. Seeing it, dude? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos everywhere on YouTube. I don't I don't know why you guys keep sweating me. Also uh, go to brosubs.com to see what God looks like. Got a little uh, surprise I cooked up for you there.